Last week, as Daniel Akins was sentenced to 16 years in federal prison for detonating three homemade explosives in Alexandria and Monroe, there was a family in the back of the federal courthouse there to witness it. It was the family of 29-year-old Keelan Lewis of Alexandria who briefly worked for Akins. The Grant Parish Sheriff's Office believes years before those bombs went off, Akins was involved in another sinister plot, one that involved killing Lewis and an attempt to collect on life insurance money. This photo is a butterfly. I made this in a bereaved parents group. Lakishma Lewis has been waiting five long years for justice in her son Keelan's murder case. But last week, as 40-year-old Daniel Akins of Alexandria was sentenced to 16 years in federal prison on a series of explosive charges, she got one step closer. I've been quiet. I haven't said anything, but I'm still here. About a year and a half before the first explosion happened that would later become part of the federal case, Lewis's son spotted Akins working in a yard and took a job working for the small lawn care business that he owned. Keelan asked him, was he hiring? Did he have openings? He began work in October of 2017. Lewis said at that point she never had an interaction with Akins. That's until December 28th, 2017, when Akins pulled up to the house she shared with her son one day to pick him up for work. And I said, well, where are you going? And he said, we're working out of town for a couple of days. He said, I should be home in about two days, Mom. And that was our last conversation, and he got in the car with Danny Akins. Three days later, on December 31st, 2017, police showed up to her door. Keelan had been found dead at a home Akins owned on Grove Street in Dry Prong. That house was filled with deadly carbon monoxide. Akins told the Grant Parish Sheriff's Office Keelan was working on that property on that cold winter day. Inside, deputies found a fish cooker running. He claims that Keelan brought the cooker into the house and turned it on to use the heat. Lewis wasn't buying it. That house has a wooden fireplace type stove in it. So if it was cold, I would see him using that instead of a propane fish cook. As Grant Parish detectives investigated the case, Lewis said things took a quick turn. She got a surprise phone call from a life insurance company and some paperwork in the mail. Who would be the benefactor on that? Daniel Akins. When you read that in the insurance policy and you see Daniel Akins' name, what goes through your mind? What was in my heart in the beginning? I knew that something was wrong. I, I knew that, you know, that this was not an accident. That life insurance policy made Grant Parish detectives suspicious too. He'd been working for him just, just a few weeks. Um, and I'd never heard of an employer taking out a life insurance policy on a brand new employee and I'm the sole beneficiary. And, and it wasn't for just to cover the expense of a burial. It was for $250,000. They began to investigate the case as a murder. Lewis claims, and she filed a report with Alexandria Police about it in July of 2018, that Akins began to stalk her. He needed the death certificates from me, and I would not give them to him. Then on January 2nd, 2020, something happened that surprised everyone, and it got the attention of the feds. A pipe bomb exploded outside a loan office on MacArthur Drive in Alexandria. It was part of an extortion attempt to get $10,000 from the company, and federal agents believed Akins was the one who built it and put it there. Agents would later tie Akins to another pipe bomb explosion outside in Alexandria, Texaco on December 2nd of 2019 and a pressure cooker explosion outside a beauty school in Monroe that injured a business owner on September 12th of 2019. In my own intuition, and I may not be right, I felt like things might have been closing in on him from Keelan's case and he was trying to get money to get away. That federal case helped shore things up for the Grant Parish case. The partnership that we developed with the federal agencies that were investigating the bombings was a was a real, real big help to us in our case. With Daniel Akins to call us. On August 11th of 2020, Grant Parish went public with a huge announcement. They had a warrant for Akins' arrest for second-degree murder. I screamed, I jumped. <laughs> I hollered, then I cried. Like, I was just excited, you know. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, finally. Now that the federal case has concluded, the state case can get underway. Lakishma Lewis looks forward to that day. As long as God keeps me here, you're going to see my face until 
justice is served for Kira. And Sheriff McCain told me that they're working with the federal government right now to arrange a time that Aikens can be booked for the second degree murder warrant. Then the case would be handed over to the district attorney's office. There's no word on who would represent Aikens for that case. As it pertained to the federal case, Aikens ended up getting rid of his federal public defenders after the trial and representing himself.